Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the pili and fimbri. So pili as well as fimbri were surface appendages which were found on a bacterial cell wall. So these fimbri as well as pili were surface appendages and they originated at the cytoplasm and from the cytoplasm it penetrated through the peptidoglycan layer and finally protruded outside the wall. This diagram shows a bacterial cell. A bacterial cell has several surface appendages. Flagella, fimbriae, pili all are surface appendages. So pili is much longer and broader in length whereas fimbriae is shorter and narrow in length. In Latin it means hair. So it is hair like appendages that are seen on surface of many bacteria and archaea. For some people the word pili and fimbriae that is the two appendages are interchangeably used. But some scientists suggest that the word pili should only be used for those appendages that can be required for bacterial conjugation. So the pili is made up of pilin proteins. So this pilin protein is oligomeric. Pili are generally seen only in gram-native bacteria. They are not present in gram-positive bacteria. The word fimbriae comes from a Latin word which means French. Fimbriae is also known as attachment pilus. And this is seen both in gram-native and gram-positive bacteria. And these fimbriae are thinner as well as shorter than flagellum. So, Fimbriae are seen both in gram-native and gram-positive bacteria, whereas pili is seen only in a gram-native bacteria. So, a fimbriae ranges from 3 to 10 nanometer in diameter. And its length can be to several micrometers. So, its width is 3 to 10 nanometer and its length is to several micrometers. So why do a bacteria has fimbriae? The function of a fimbriae is to adhere. It can even adhere to a bacteria, to an animal cell or to an object. So a bacterial cell can have two as many as thousand fimbriae. So the number of fimbriae that is seen in a bacteria varies till so, a fimbriae is only visible under an electron microscope and these fimbriae are straight and flexible. So, the function of a fimbriae is to adhere and a fimbriae is as many as 1000. So, these fimbriae are seen only in an electron microscope. So, pili occur either on the poles of a bacteria or they are seen evenly distributed around the surface of a cell. So pili is 0.2 to 20 micrometer long and the diameter is about 250 armstrong. So as we discussed earlier, the number of fimbriae is as much as 1000 while a pili is usually in a number of 3 to 5. So the molecular weight of a fimbrin is up to 16,000 daltons. So a pili is of two types. One is a common pili and this pili is used as an adhering agent. That is, this adheres from a cell to a surface. That is, it helps a cell to adhere to a surface. Whereas another category of pili is sex pili. And this pili is 
helping a bacterial cell to transfer the genome so so the sex pili helps bacteria to join with other bacterial cell and transfer its genome so the two types of pili is a common pili and a sex pili so now let us discuss the function of a pili and fimbriae so the bacteria which has fimbriae is called a fimbricate bacteria the main role of a fimbriae is to adhere it helps an organism to attach to another organism or to the natural substrate it also helps in agglutinate the blood cells such as erythrocytes leukocytes epithelial cells etc this diagram shows that a bacterial cell is being adhered to a host cell that is a bacterial cell goes and attaches to a host cell so the adhering of a bacteria to a host cell is by fimbriae so the main role of a fimbriae is to adhere so a fimbriae is antigenic that is they have antigenic properties so antigenic means that it is a substance which can stimulate the production of antibodies so fimbriae has antigenic properties they are antigenic since they are thermolabile and non specific agglutinogen so since they are not destroyed by heat and they are non specific it is antigenic so fimbriae affects the metabolic activity so those cells which has fimbriae is known as fimplex and those do, that do not have is known as fim minus so those which has fimbriae that is fim plus has higher rate of metabolism than the fim minus cells so apart from this function it is also a aggregation organelles that is they form a stellate that is a star shaped aggregation on a static liquid medium so on a static liquid medium these have a stellate aggregation that is a star shaped aggregation the major role of a sex pili is conjugation that is a sex pili is used as a conjugation tube so it helps in the transfer of genetic material from a f plus that is a male which is donor to a f minus which is a recipient that is a female so from a f cell the genetic material is transferred to a f minus cell that is from a male to a female so major role of a sex pili is conjugation so as we discussed earlier the major role of a pilus is acting as a conjugation tube so as you can see in the diagram a pilus is present in a donor cell that is in a cell where plasmid is present so a pilus is being connected between a donor and a recipient the genetic material that is the plasmid is passed from a f plus to a f minus cell finally the the both cell becomes a f plus cell that is both has a plasmid and a pilus with them so this is the role of a sex pili that is conjugation it is used in the transfer of genetic material finally now let us compare all the points that is let us differentiate a pili and a fimbriae fimbriae is being seen only in fimbriae is seen both in a gram positive and a gram negative bacteria whereas 
Pillai is seen only in a gram-negative bacteria. The number of fimbriae is larger to the number of pili. The number of fimbriae usually ranges from 300 to 400 per cell. It can even be up to thousands. A pili is usually 1 to 4 per cell. Fimbriae is usually shorter and narrower. Pili, on the other hand, is longer and broader. Fimbriae usually take part in adhesion, whereas pili takes place in conjugation. So the formation of fimbriae is controlled by nucleoid gene, whereas the formation of pili is controlled by F plus or fertility factor. So these fimbriae are bristle-like solid structures, whereas pili is tubular structures. So these are the important difference between a pili and fimbriae. Hope the difference between a pili and fimbriae is clear. For more such videos, do subscribe to our channel. If you like the video, please like and share with your friends.